Ming Samad, and I am the president of UPISU. It's a lot of emails, a lot of emails, and a lot of emails. Anytime I'm in his office, he's answering emails. So I'm, I'm going to like take a guess and say that at least 90% of his job is answering emails. Interesting fella, that guy right there, that Hamad Ahmed. So I used to know him. I guess I know him still, though. Definitely an interesting character. Hamad and I have like become very close very quick over the last few months just because we work together all the time but also we have become travel buddies because we travel to conferences and stuff together sharing rooms too just to save those student dollars you're welcome everyone <laughs> he's really good at making relationships with people and i think that's why students really gravitate to him um whenever you see hamad on the street it's never like a oh hey how's it going it's always like he has to give you this gigantic hug and tell you how much he has missed you even if he's only talked to you once in your life which that might steer p people away, but for some reason, it always makes people feel special. Pretty sure this guy knows every single person on campus, and if he doesn't, um, he's he's a good bullshitter then. Because it doesn't matter who comes up to the office, somehow he knows them, or he knows his brother, or something like that. He knows his father, their mother. He knows them, and he'll give them a big hug like they've been friends since kindergarten. He's super cuddly. Um, we have once got into an argument and after that he's been hugging me every five seconds. Every time I come to the office he hugs me or we'll be walking and he'll grab onto my hand which is really weird. I don't know why. Um, one day he actually like came up to me and kissed the top of my head and I don't know why and it made me feel super uncomfortable. Mud, you gotta back off. That's my, that's my portfolio in my department. But I just like... It makes him feel nice, I think, so I'm just gonna keep going with it. His reaction to everything, no matter if it's like happy, sad, scared, surprised, whatever, is anytime anything happens, it's oh wow. And I don't like I don't know what that means. Or we're like at conferences with people. He all he goes and he introduces himself and he goes, Hi, I'm Hamad, I'm the president of the UPISU and this is Taya, the real president. <laughs> and like I don't know how to feel about that. I mean I kind of appreciate it. I like to think of myself as the real president too. This is where the real work gets done, just so everyone's clear on that. But every time he comes into my office he tries to tell me something and he beats around the bush. He'll come in and if he has something about athletics or a meeting he has, he'll come in and he'll be like, so, um, how you doing? So, like, what's... And then he'll stand there, like, silently for a minute, and then he'll ask me a thousand other questions before he actually gets to the point. And then it's to the point that he comes in and I'm just like, don't talk, just ask me your question. Like, you're driving me nuts. And he's just like, I, I didn't do anything. I'm like, no, but you were going to. And I know you were going to. I work so hard. I don't think these guys work at all. I tell him he doesn't need to. He always stands outside my door and asks for permission before entering my room. He will not enter my office unless I give him permission. He comes and he stands there and he goes, um, may I come in? And I'm like, yeah, every time you can come in, it's okay. Like, we have an open door policy. If I had to pick one character from Lord of the Rings that Hamad would be, it would be Smeagol. Because he's random AF. He literally says the randomest things at the randomest times, and you don't really know what's going on with him half the time. Um, the only time that you really notice what he's doing or what he's up to is when you're like, you can't do that, stop! Um, so that reminds me of Smeagol. He's also super protective over one thing. Um, it's not a ring or anything, but it's definitely the tin foil that's in his office right now. My precious. It's been like over a week now, I think, and he's not yet taken down the tinfoil in his office, which like needs to happen because I don't, I think he low key likes it and is keeping it there. I'm really not sure. Okay, do not put that, <laughs> do not put that for please. <laughs>